Hey guys, Allie with Tip B. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, yet another part of our jailbreak uh, guide, and we're going to look at an app called Winterboard. This is a very common jailbreak app if you expect to install any customizations on your phone whatsoever, themes, new chat bubbles, um, anything that's going to change the appearance of your springboard, you're going to need Winterboard. Um, the older version of this was Summerboard, uh, Winterboard is a lot more powerful. So let's jump into here to where, first of all, you can hide Winterboard. It'll still show up in your iPhone settings. So if you don't want the icon, you can do that. I don't ever mess with debug logging unless you know what you're doing or know what that is. I'm not going to go into that. I probably wouldn't recommend that unless you're a developer or you know what you're doing with that. Um, Summerboard mode on. I always turn that on because there are different ways to code themes or to put together packages for themes. And a lot of developers still choose to put together packages in a summer board way um, instead of winter board. And uh, if you don't have that enabled, it can make your phone crash or do funky things. So I'd leave that enabled. Um, you can go into select themes here. As you can see, I have several things added in here. What's nice about uh, winter board is it works as a hierarchy. So basically, say I have I don't know, this uh, glass glart theme installed on my phone. And say I want to, I'm not going to check any of these or rearrange them because it's going to make my phone respring. But say I wanted that and I wanted, I didn't like the chat bubbles. I can download a different package of chat bubbles and as long as I have those chat bubbles higher than the main theme, it'll override just that aspect of the theme. So that's what's really nice about Winterboard. So if there's one aspect of the theme you didn't like as opposed to Summerboard, um, the older version, you can actually go ahead and instead of having to SSH into your phone or deleting files, you can just go in and download something that you'd like to replace it and copy it or uh, drag it above the main theme and it'll override whatever's underneath it. So it would override the chat bubbles. So say I didn't like uh, the slider for the theme, which I actually didn't like the slider that came with the theme I'm using right now or part of the theme. So I just dragged a slider. And what I do like about this too is you don't have to utilize a whole theme. You can download separate components and just check separate components. So that's really nice with Winterboard too. Um, where you're going to get add-ons for Winterboard is in Cydia. So you're going to go into Cydia, oh, wrong folder. You're going to go into Cydia and you are going to go into themes. Um, you can search for themes, etc. Um, I typically look for um, theme elements that I want. So if I just wanted chat bubbles, I would maybe go into search and just type in SMS. Yeah, see right there, you'll have SMS balloon colors, and you can see, um, let's jump back down to this. And you can see where'd that package go, here it is. And Cydia will typically give you, um, most developers or authors will give you um, a little description of what each package is. So you can see this package has five different color sets for balloons and SMS. Um, and actually, what I've here's a tip for iPhone 4 owners. Um, I will typically search HD in here and then it only brings up things that are HD compatible with the iPhone 4. Sure, you can download themes that are not HD, but why? If you have the iPhone 4, um, I highly recommend downloading Retina Display themes. Some of my favorites are GOC Pro um, HD and then uh, Elite Pro HD. So I'm not sure if that one's out of beta yet or not. I believe it is, but I'm not positive. But um, that's basically Winterboard. You're going to get everything you need from Winterboard in here. The only thing that is not installed through Winterboard that's theme-wise is um, SB settings themes. You're not going to install those. Those are actually located um, in SB settings. And I guess I could probably show you that since... Uh, since I'm not covering it in a different video. If you download an SB setting theme and you want to install it, open SB settings, go to more, and then you see this uh, SB settings theme menu right there. So you can go in there and it'll show all the themes that you have downloaded for SB settings, and then you'd be good for that. 
So right there you can see I have a theme applied and you can just switch them, etc. But that is Winterboard, pretty easy. Questions, comments, uh, again, like the other videos, leave them below or uh, visit us at forum.tipb.com. Thanks, guys.